Horror is one genre of gaming that truthfully tests the mettle of both the creative minds behind the game and the consumers playing it. It speaks volumes about the developer's creative skills and how sly they can be in scaring the players. It also speaks about a gamer's endurance and mental capacity. When the PS4 was launched in 2013, it meant a great deal for the next generation of gamers with their stunning graphics. But did this mean something for gamers with a taste for the eerie and horribly creepy? Heaps. The PS4 is faster than the older consoles, which renders it perfectly capable of supporting a well-designed horror title. It can focus the player's attention on the smallest details and expressions, like on a character's face, which makes for a more compelling story. Keeping the love for cult horror innovation in our hearts and the PS4 PS4's capabilities in our minds, let's dive into the top 50 scariest games that you can enjoy on your PS4s. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Resident oh. Evil 7 Biohazard 2017 Three years after Mia Winter's disappearance during a babysitting job in Dolby, Louisiana, her husband Ethan receives a video from her, asking him to stay away for his own good. The restless Ethan Winters finds himself on his way to get her and stumbles onto the seemingly abandoned Baker house. Not long after that, he discovers that the Baker's residence is far from abandoned and that his wife is alive. The Baker house makes for the perfect treacherous atmosphere for this survival horror experience. Capcom made some great decisions on this one, and their timing couldn't have been better. RE7 saved the franchise while it was on the brink of extinction. For the first time in Resident Evil's lifespan, we got a game set in the first-person perspective, and boy, did it drastically make the game horrifying. There's a heavy emphasis on conserving ammo and heals, and you'll have to thoroughly search and loot in order to survive and solve the game's puzzles while hiding. <laughs> Resident Evil Villain. After the massive success of Resident Evil 7 and Ethan Winter's compelling narrative, Capcom was quick to follow up Biohazard with the eighth game, Village. The story picks up where the prequel left off with Ethan, his wife, name redacted to keep things spoiler free, and their newborn daughter, Rosemary. Ethan is shocked when, one night, a special ops unit breaks into their witness protection home and assassinates his wife before kidnapping him and Rose. Their abduction is mysteriously ambushed, and Ethan wakes up to find the unit slaughtered and Rose missing. Here, on the outskirts of a deserted village begins his search for his daughter, and he soon discovers that he's far from alone. The model geometry is extremely well refined. With village's crisp texture mapping, all characters and weapons look scarily realistic. The heavy attention to detail, especially on facial expressions, makes the gameplay far more immersive and convincing than most titles. As gritty and haunting as Biohazard's story was, village takes on a more playful, gothic horror environment approach, which is still pretty scary. For instance, the mutant zombies are replaced by what appear to be demon types. It's heavily fixated on fighting waves of enemies with the occasional hiding and evading. Ethan somehow manages to lose his hand. Again, seriously, get a grip, Mr. Winters. Amnesia Rebirth 2020. Moving back in time to 1937, somewhere in the Algerian desert, Amnesia Rebirth ditches the castles and dungeons from the first game for sand and historic tombs. The player steps into the shoes of Tazi Trianon, who originally sets out on an expedition but gets sucked into the search for her missing crew members after their plane crashes. In comparison to The Dark Descent, this one's got more endearing characters and some great voice acting. When it comes to horror, Amnesia pretty much sets the bar for an isolating, nightmarish first-person survival game. While frequently being mistaken for a remaster of the iconic 2010 title, Amnesia Rebirth is far from one and showcases frictional games' growth over the years. True to the Amnesia formula, Rebirth's gameplay is about scavenging and figuring dreadful environments out for yourself while solving puzzles and hiding from monstrous creatures. Yet another part of the Amnesia experience is waking up without any recollection of the series of events and managing your fear level. You do this by not staying in the dark for too long and using your oil lamp, torches and matches. The game is a major improvement improvement on the graphics front and the developer's creativity. Outlast 2014. When he receives an anonymous tip about unethical experiments being conducted on patients from a whistleblower at Mount Massive Asylum, investigative journalist Miles Upshur 
follows the story into the very depths of the psychiatric facility. It begins a series of physical and mental trauma. Outlast works around Amnesia's bones in the sense that it's a survival horror that places a protagonist in a very creepy setting and leaves them defenseless. The only options are to run or to hide. What makes Outlast unique, aside from the extremely disturbing disturbed at Mount Massive, is the fact that the protagonist is equipped only with his video camera. The camera allows you to use night vision mode to make it through the asylum's darkness. The tricky part is that the camera runs on batteries which you'll find scattered across the asylum and run out of rather quickly. Red Barrels really outdid themselves with the sound and character design while staying true to their solid story. And to top that off, this game is torturous enough to make you want to stop playing at every corner you turn. But of course, you don't because it's got you hooked in under five minutes. Ellie, they're getting close! The Last of Us Remastered 2014 The fans lost all their cool when Naughty Dog and Sony announced that they were working on a remastered version of the 2013 game that took the world by storm. At the crux of its plot, The Last of Us paints the picture of a single father who lost his only daughter during the early stages of a mutant Cordyceps virus outbreak. Joel is extremely skilled. The Fireflies, which is a group of rebels opposing the authorities, hire him to smuggle a teenage girl out of the quarantine zone. This girl, Ellie, possesses DNA that shows promise toward a cure, and the two make their way through a desolate and infected Boston with the aim of finding the cure. As this hauntingly beautiful story that sticks with you progresses, we see Joel find his lost daughter in the guilt-ridden Ellie. This third-person action-adventure puts you in Joel's shoes and has you move through a ruined city, its sewers, abandoned buildings and forest areas. While you protect Ellie and fight off waves of fungus-infected cannibals, you can't help but applaud how fast-paced the remaster feels at its constant 60 FPS. There's no shortage of weapon variety. You can choose between long and short-range types to best suit your playing style. The aiming and shooting were mapped to DualShock 4's concave triggers, as opposed to the PS3's R1-L1 shooting, and this only added to how intense the action-packed, fast-paced Survivor title is. The Last of Us Part 2 2020. Four years after Joel's much debated decision, The Last of Us Part 2 places Ellie as the main character. The father daughter like duo settle down in Wyoming and become part of a community of survivors. Unfortunately, this peaceful chapter of their lives is a short one, and Joel finds himself facing the consequences of his decision. Ellie goes looking for him, only to find nothing but pain. Filled with rage, she leaves Jackson in pursuit of closure and violence. You'll witness a good number of improvements in the mechanics as you explore the stunning world as a younger, fitter protagonist. Do watch out for the newer clickers while you solve puzzles and hunt people. Some of them explode and let out a hazardous gas. The second part does it all. It gives a more conclusive form to Joel and Ellie's story and manages to raise the bar higher than the first game. Where the prequel explored themes of love and belonging, part two takes on trauma, hatred, and isolation. The element that puts miles between The Last of Us games and any other game is its phenomenal writing. The narrative design is bold and surprising. The story is guaranteed to not play out how you want it to, and yet leaves you in tears. Moreover, it's a game that leaves you reflecting on its meaning for days. The Last of Us Part 2 is arguably Naughty Dog's magnum opus. Soma 2015 Yet another frictional game's favourite, this puzzling horror title takes you for a deep dive into the ocean. Underwater lies the geothermal powerhouse of Pathos 2, with most of its human members killed by the WAU. This is an AI created for the sole purpose of overseeing maintenance on Pathos 2. However, an apocalyptic event involving a comet causes mass extinction, and the underwater power station is left vulnerable to a black symbiote-like organism that corrupts the AI and, in turn, Pathos 2's machinery. You play as Simon Jarrett, who wakes up on site Upsilon of Pathos 2, with no clue as to how he got there and only Catherine's voice on a speaker to guide him. As the gameplay progresses, you explore various sites on the power station and fill in the story's blanks. You also encounter creatures birthed by the corrupt AI, and in these encounters you may run, hide from or distract the danger, but have no means to defend yourself. This first-person horror adventure port runs smoothly on the PS4 and is a very unique take on horror. Aside from its underwater narrative, Soma gives a whole new meaning to isolation while exhausting its players. Its wide field of view gives players a lot to take in. This, in combination with the smoothly jarring camera movements, is guaranteed to leave you feeling overwhelmed and alone. Christ. 
Alien Isolation 2014. Alien Isolation depicts events from the year 2137 and acts as a sequel story to Ridley Scott's original 1979 film set in 2122. The story follows Amanda Ripley, who embarks on a recovery mission. Upon learning the whereabouts of the black box from her missing mother's lost ship, Amanda takes to space to go to retrieve it from a space station. When her crew gets to this space station, they're shocked to find it damaged with all comms cut off. Unfortunately for Amanda, the data on the black box has been corrupted and she soon encounters a xenomorph. Here begins an action-packed series full of scavenging, improvising, and evading that replaces the recovery goal of the mission with surviving the ghastly xenomorph's rampage. While the Alien franchise happens to be largely popular, this particular game is carried to glory by the unpredictable Sevastopol drone or the creature lurking in the shadows. After your first encounter with the alien, it starts hunting you and killing your teammates while you aren't looking. Isolation is slow-paced at times, but this only makes your experience all the more realistic. It has you carefully question every decision as you explore and solve puzzles, and it emphasizes evasion rather than combat because there's a serious shortage of ammo. Visage 2020. The next title belongs to the indie psychological horror genre and tells the story as seen through the eyes of Dwayne Anderson. When the alcoholic Dwayne kills his two kids and wife and goes on to shoot himself, he strangely wakes up to find himself in a room with a blood-covered floor and only one door. When he opens the door, he's back in his house, but something's not right. All the exit doors are locked and his house seems different. As he explores his own home with its paranormal changes, looking for the means to break free, he's haunted by Lucy, Dolores and Rakan, who were the house's previous residence. While Visage doesn't particularly feature anything new or inconceivable, this gorgeous yet haunting fever dream from hell possesses a little something from each of the best in the horror scene. It heavily draws inspiration from P.T., Silent Hill and Amnesia. Players must navigate the house while evading the macabre and ghoulish and solve its creative puzzles in order to progress the story. True to the indie style, Visage subtly hints at the whole story. If you manage to piece things together, what lies ahead of you is a grim tale of a man who lost himself to guilt over his professional contributions to the development of a mind-controlled drug and the unethical experiments for research. Come on! Resident Evil 2 2019 The 2019 remake of the 1998 classic, Resident Evil 2 allows you to play as rookie cop Leon Kennedy and college student Claire Redfield. These characters run into each other at a gas station while they're both travelling to Raccoon City. Players have the choice of playing as either Leon or Claire, giving this title a strong replayability value. Leon's story is centred around his zombie-killing experience in the new city as a rookie cop who's just transferred to Raccoon City, and Claire's on her search for her older brother, Chris Redfield. The biggest difference between the original and the remake is that the remake allows players to control where they look as opposed to the original, which played out like scenes in an action sequence, and characters moved around static background images rather than in a 3D rendered world. The graphics obviously are worlds apart, and the remake makes fighting the infected an immersive and versatile series of frights. The remake has you use your flashlights to see in the dark, which makes for just the perfect, restricted and narrow field of view that a horror title needs. While this quality makes the game scarier, it's reinforced by the fact that the game is set in a third-person perspective, so you end up seeing lesser than you did in RE7 Biohazard. Resident Evil 3 2020. RE3's narrative begins a day prior to the events of the second game, following the T-Virus and the story of Jill Valentine. RE2 and RE3 both are companion titles with connected stories and are part of the Raccoon City bundle on the PlayStation Store. Jill is a former Stars member, a fictional SWAT equivalent, and is trying to escape the apocalypse when a bioweapon named Nemesis attacks her. She teams up with mercenary Carlos Oliveira and a few others along the way in her mission to escape the chaos, survive Nemesis Hunt, and expose Umbrella Corps for its hand in the outbreak. Break. The story takes you through its diverse world, and being the latter remake of the Raccoon City series, the graphics are better than ever. While the campaign is rather brief, the animations and designs on the undead enemies are extremely well done, and you can witness this for yourself as you shoot chunks off of them. Nemesis is ruthless and has a reputation for playing it fast and loose with the rules of the survival horror formula. You're not safe even in places you thought were safe, and will soon find Nemesis invading the set space. The emphasis on exploration and combat makes this title an absolute joy. Joyride.
Layers of Fear, 2016. This sorrowful story of a nameless schizophrenic artist's married life, career, and downfall is told through notes and clippings left around his house. All was well when he first got married. His beautiful wife and he loved each other. His career was flourishing. His name was frequently in the newspapers and his paintings were highly regarded. However, a horrible accident caused his wife to suffer severe burns and brought about a turning point in the painter's life. His wife could no longer play the piano. Her music was the source of his inspiration while he painted. Having lost his inspiration, his career starts to decline and our painter takes to alcoholism, which further strains his relationship with his wife and daughter. As this unique first-person set title takes you through the painter's grand yet empty house, you encounter ghosts from his past. You explore the house looking for key materials, bizarre as they are, and relive the highlights of your life while losing your mind. The story becomes clearer as you progress further toward creating your final masterpiece and reveals a heart-shattering story of a guilt-ridden man. Evil Within 2, 2017. The Evil Within 2 gives you a chance to play as a burnt-out detective, Sebastian Castellanos, in his quest to save his daughter from the nightmarish virtual STEM realm and save the world from complete domination. This sequel is popular for its vast variety of enemy types and skips rope with the lines that define the survival horror formula. The world is ever-changing and takes you through grotesquely beautiful locations while you fight to get your daughter back. Here's why it's such a big improvement to the prequel. The team at Tango Gameworks adopted a realistic approach with The Evil Within series, at least as far as Sebastian is concerned. The sequel reveals him to be an older, slower, and burnt-out version of himself, and it's apparent from the gameplay mechanics that three years have passed. This touch of reality makes you feel more attached to Sebastian, and will often leave you feeling like you only barely survived over and over in the game. The fluid gameplay, the ever-changing environments, and the creative enemy designs run this absolutely frightful freak show. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Until Dawn 2015. Developed by Supermassive Games and Sony, Until Dawn follows the story of a group of eight friends who meet at a lodge on Blackwood Mountain. A year prior to the events, during a similar get-together, the twin sisters Elizabeth and Beth were declared missing after falling off a cliff while trying to evade a creepy man with a flamethrower in the woods. Until Dawn is just plain awesome. It's got a ton of nods to the cheesy horror slasher flicks that we all love and adore, but for those of us that cringe at the characters short of wise decision-making skills, until Dawn is still pretty awesome. Here's how. Until Dawn plays out like a visual novel, an interactive drama where all you need to do is make choices for the Blackwood 8 and explore environments from a third-person perspective. At first glance, this might not seem as appealing, since there isn't much to do in terms of gameplay, but Until Dawn surprises you. The game packs a butterfly effect system that considers even the most trivial choices you make and incorporates them into the ending you build up to. There are hundreds of endings, and there's no going back on your decisions unless you start a new game, so uh, choose wisely. Room for uncertainty. There's no room for doubt. And know this, there's more at stake than just Talos 1. If what happened here... Pray. 2017. Prey takes to environmental storytelling to tell its unconventional story. You step into Morgan Yu's spacesuit as a scientist who studies the alien race of Typhon on the breathtaking space station that is Talos 1. When an event causes humans to lose control of the station, Morgan wakes up with no recollection of how he ended up in this situation. While it isn't officially labeled as an RPG, it takes the form of a more natural decision-making RPG. Instead of explicit moments where you choose one of multiple options in a dialogue, Prey's story subtly shapes itself in the background, based Based on your gameplay choices. These include the missions you undertake, what areas you explore, and more. Players explore, solve, and fight in the various environments on Talos 1 to discover secrets about the station and the truth about the Typhon. The script is fantastic. While it comes from Arcane and Bethesda, the creators of the largely popular Dishonored series, the influence of other classics like Bioshock and Half-Life can be felt. Similar to Dishonored, there's an alternate approach to most things, and the path you take will shape the destination. Yet another unique aspect of the gameplay is the emphasis on combat decisions, and you must pick your battles wisely. Home Sweet Home 2017. When you wake up in an eerie school that you don't recognize, playing the role of Tim, your first reaction is to find your lifelong companion, Jane. Unfortunately for you, 
This educational institution is actually a mysterious, ever-changing maze, and accompanying you is a young schoolgirl's ghost with a box cutter and the ability to travel between pools of blood. Elements of time mythology and folklore are brought to life in a really creative and horrifying way, which makes for a refreshing experience of the horror aspect we already know and love. The exploration and the puzzles in this one demand that you take note of your surroundings and carefully check every corner of the room. Missing the slightest clue of lurking danger will open you to a world of jump scares, and this may for an amazingly horrendous atmosphere. It provokes feelings of unrest and demands that you escape from it. PT 2014. The next title is a sore subject for anyone who truly loves the genre. Short for playable teaser, PT was merely a demo for Silent Hills project that Konami scrapped and never finished. It could have meant great things for the Silent Hill franchise, but unfortunately never came to be. Silent Hills could have been the single best fright-inducing survival horror title ever made. Its demo alone was scary enough to make it into the top 20 of our list and a significant part of gaming culture. The designer, Hideo Kojima, intended on inducing fear in different ways, and as a result, the game feels like a masterclass in the genre, opening players up to a world of new phobias. The approach is applaudable. The demo only features a single location, well, technically isn't even a whole location, given that it's a self-redecorating loop of an L-shaped corridor with a bathroom. With every round you take, the corridor changes, be it sound elements or new visuals. The variety of supernatural elements and the game's incomplete yet excellent visual storytelling left a deep impression, one that's not forgotten even today. Little Nightmares 2017. This dark tale about a little girl named Six and her courageous escape from a huge underwater vessel will put you face to face with your childhood fears. The moor is large and filled with corrupted souls roaming about. The children are imprisoned and hungry. The same is true for Six, our little protagonist in the yellow raincoat. The story begins with Six's escape and has players hiding in constant terror as they infiltrate the rooms of various wardens that would catch Six if they saw her. But this is far from the kind of terror you'd expect. The game plays out in 2.5D environments, which essentially means a 2D world that appears to be and is designed in a 3D environment. There's so much that makes this game stand out, but the fact that there's no bloodshed or words in spite of its strong story shines the brightest. It's among the finest examples of environmental storytelling and relies on visual cues and atmosphere to convey the story. Your mother, who is too weak to fight the darkness and abandon you. You tortured her! You killed her! Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice 2017. This title delivers a well-crafted linear experience with deep lore and is rather heavy as far as the story is concerned. Senua is a pick warrior from Orkney. When she returns from a year of exile to find that her lover Dillian has been sacrificed, she swears to save his soul from the Norse guards. During her journey to Helheim, she must overcome physical as well as psychological barriers, being prone to hallucinations and hearing voices. As you confront dark Norse gods and piece Senua's past and mental trauma together, a meaningful image takes takes form. The title explores themes like trauma, sacrifice and loss, mental health and the strength of the human spirit. The gameplay takes the form of fast-paced combat in combination with a deep and emotional narrative set in a grimly beautiful atmosphere. The game manages to achieve a breathtaking yet haunting interpretation of Norse lore, and the world is a bleak one. It's almost as if you can sense the dread around you, especially since the game merges reality and delusions into one due to Senua's mental struggles. The result is a bold, immersive fusion of myth and personal turmoil that's intricately woven into a personal story. Madison 2022. Bloodiest Games' Madison, like Visage, is among the newer generation of horror titles and draws inspiration from PT and its formula. When the teenager Luca wakes up dazed in his family home, something seems off to him. Things appear to be shifting around on their own. On his 16th birthday, he receives an instant camera as a gift. As soon as Luca takes a picture, the room redecorates itself after shaking. This very camera used to belong to a serial killer called Madison Hale some 30 years ago and allows Luca to see more than his eyes allow. As you explore the house in first person, Madison makes contact. The environments make it clear that Madison was trying to perform a body exchange ritual that involved a sentimental object, even sacrifices and more. Even though Madison is shot and killed, her spirit lives on and haunts the house and its next generation of owners. This indie horror title encapsulates a good amount of Resident Evil-like puzzle solving and a similar inventory system. The sound and graphics are paid great attention to in creating a chilling atmosphere. The camera 
is cleverly incorporated into the gameplay and serves as your very own peephole into the supernatural while also possessing the ability to alter your surroundings. Quarry 2022. Our next survival horror game is another third-person interactive drama from Supermassive Games that allows you to control nine teenagers by making their decisions for them with the goal of surviving the night at Hackett's Quarry. One of these kids, Jacob, sabotages their only mode of transport out of the quarry with the intent of spending one more night with his summer fling at camp. Stuck there for another night, the camp counselor tells them to lock themselves in for the night. True to the slasher film formula, the teens decide to have a party. As the night progresses, members of the group split up and are off doing their own thing when Nick and Abby encounter something bear-like. The teens end up getting caught in the middle of a hunt and experience a night filled with terrors. The quarry, being among Supermassive's latest games, was made on Unreal Engine 4, which allowed developers to experiment with highly detailed and expansive environments. The graphics are excellent, and while there are a few glitches here and there, the motion capture and well-designed scenery make for perfectly eerie, eye-candy-like visuals. Also worth mentioning is the applaudable acting that brings this interactive drama to life. Amnesia The Dark Descent 2016 After six years of being a massive hit, Frictional Games' first independently developed and published title made it to the PS4. This original formula went on to inspire and motivate many. The Dark Descent tells the story of Daniel, who wakes up in the Brennenberg Castle with a case of amnesia. Players explore the castle as Daniel and uncover its secrets along with fragments of Daniel's past. The story is told heavily through exploration, notes, and flashbacks. You wake up in the beginning to a note from yourself which explains that your former self chose to forget. The former self can't explain why, but only that you must find and kill Alexander of Brennenberg. Lastly, the knock warns you of a shadow that you must escape from. The HPL engine allows this title to feature an environment that players can manipulate in the form of picking up, throwing, or moving objects. You scavenge your environment by checking drawers, closets, etc., and finding consumables. Like its sequel successor, Rebirth, The Dark Descent has you manage your protagonist's sanity levels along with health by avoiding long stretches of time spent in the dark. The low sanity will make Daniel hallucinate and eventually faint, leaving him on the floor as his sanity replenishes. Balancing light with darkness is critical to their survival. In some cases, Amicia will use this to her own grisly advantage. A Plague Tale Innocence 2019 This critically acclaimed story of a 15-year-old Amicia has players move through a black plague-riddled France as she protects her younger brother Hugo from the French Inquisition. Hugo is being hunted due to his mysterious illness, and the gameplay involves keeping him by your side and escorting him to safety through the game's beautifully hostile, disturbing, and unique environments. This game, not unlike Hellblade Sanua's Sacrifice, is highly underrated and a must-play. It won't immediately strike its players as a horror game, as you move through rat-infested areas, hide in bushes to sneak around strong soldiers and solve puzzles to get from one point to another, you realize how its stunning, graphic, bleak environments work with the riveting sound design to constantly keep you on your toes. The mechanics of the puzzles are quite plain. Amika is equipped with a sling to attack and dodge enemies during encounters. However, the sling mostly serves to distract enemies as you sneak around them with Hugo. Dying Light 2015 Dying Light will leave you with quite a few disturbing memories of the experience. Players drop into the fictional city of Haran, where a mysterious virus has infected most residents and turned them into brainless, short-tempered zombie types. You play as Kyle Crane, an agent of the Global Relief Effort. GRE, who is tasked with retrieving sensitive documents from a political faction that has gone rogue and turned into bandits in the wake of the outbreak. The world, as depicted in Haran, looks gorgeous. No matter what angle you're looking from, the intricacies of this bleak and infected environment are carefully curated to make the experience immersive and realistic. Speaking of realism, there's also a bit of a learning curve. You're going to want to upgrade weapons and craft new ones to survive. The combat and movement mechanics are absolutely thrilling. The first-person parkour in its open world is comparable to Mirror's Edge. And the combat is rich, thanks to the variety of available weapons and skills. What's unique is that the zombies actually get stronger and more aggressive at night, and players are urged to get to safe zones. Got you, fucker. What? Dying Light 2 Stay Human 
2022. Set in the fictional walled city of Villador, this sequel depicts events in 2036 when a mutated version of the Haran virus has infected the whole world. You play this time as Aidan Caldwell, a pilgrim who travels from one survivor settlement to another and has arrived in Villador to look for Mia his missing sister. Dying Light 2 was a long-awaited title, but after seven long years, when it finally came out, the game felt a little undercooked and was heavily criticized. However, with all its recent updates, the sequel has cleared its name and is back to being adored as much as the prequel was. The parkour doesn't feel floaty and adds some weight to your character. The combat mechanics are better than ever and make the fighting feel smooth and natural. The knights are back to being the fright-inducing bloodbath that they used to be and players are, once more, afraid of stepping out when it's dark. With its latest Good Night Good Luck update, the game is as refined as ever and surely not one to sleep on. Alan Wake Remastered 2021 the next narrative plays out in the form of episodes and has its players uncover the secrets behind the supernatural Bright Falls mystery while trying to solve the case of Alan's missing wife. Alan is a troubled author and finds himself living a series of events that he supposedly wrote in a horror story but has no recollection of. You play the role of Alan and set out to solve the mystery of how these events are connected. The dreary environment looks so much better since this title was remastered. Players might just forget that they're playing a game from 2010. This version of the game brings the fictional town of Bright Falls to life with better lighting, textures and character designs while retaining all the fun from the original. While the weapons lack variety in Alan Wake, the game overcomes it with a concept that is the Dark Presence, with its taken puppets that can be weakened using your flashlight before shooting them down. This gives a new interesting touch to the combat. Dark Pictures Anthology, House of Ashes, 2021. This is perhaps the most unique story that the Dark Pictures Anthology has designed so far. Supermassive is added again with its interactive dramas and this time they take you back to 2003 on the battlefield during the Iraq War. The story tells the tale of five playable characters, soldiers who fall into an Akkadian temple under the sand during a raid due to sinkholes in the terrain. Soldiers from both sides of the war fall in and discover that the temple was a crash site to a ship of parasitic aliens, resembling bats. This time, Supermassive went with the vampire theme to deliver a unique experience that ties survival horror and war tensions together. The menu also features a bearing section that lets you track your narrative's various branches and how your choices alter the narrative. What's more is that this one was also developed on Unreal Engine 4, and it shows. So, you can expect stunning visuals to pair with the richly intriguing, well-staged story design that's regarded as better than the ones that came before it. Yeah! Evil Dead The Game 2022 Up next, we have an asymmetrical multiplayer survival horror, like Friday the 13th or Dead by Daylight, but with a different vibe. Evil Dead feels as campy and creepily nostalgic as the iconic movies that birthed this concept. During matches, players assume the role of one of four survivors with their teammates and try to hold their own until the team has everything it needs to perform an exercising ritual that makes them win the match. You must claim necessary relics to ready the ritual by defending particular zones, scavenge environments for map pieces as you look for weapons in a battle royale, and survive by fighting evil with the various weapons available on the game map. The game maps are made to be challenging and have you traverse various types of terrain. You can upgrade characters from various classes with the progressive skill system to strategize your gameplay. When it's all said and done, Evil Dead packs a mean punch with its intense online battles and leaves plenty of room for player creativity in the way you play. Fuck. Outlast 2 2017 this next one is absolutely not for kids. Lynn Langerman is an investigative journalist. With her husband Blake by her side as the cameraman, the pair are on their way to cover a story about a pregnant teenage girl who died under strange circumstances in rural Arizona. After a strange flash of light, their helicopter crashes and a disoriented Blake wakes up to find Lynn gone and the pilot skinned alive. With only his night vision camcorder on his person, Blake must explore this rural landscape in search of his wife. You're never going to catch a break with this Outlast sequel. There are no safe zones like in Resident Evil 7, and there's no fighting. Most of your time playing Outlast 2 will be spent hiding or running from nearly anyone you encounter. 
Red Barrels did an impeccable job at creating an experience that not only emphasizes but personifies the feelings of isolation, desperation, and desolation in Blake and in the player's hearts through him. Unlike the first game, this one contains flashbacks from Blake's childhood that hint at his mental troubles, and the narrative intricately weaves them into the bigger picture. With the improved graphics, the camcorder gets a remodel, and the night vision mode lets you see things much better. Needless to say, Outlast 2 will make you wish you didn't need to use the camcorder at all. The Witch 2019. An eerie witch haunts the Black Hills Forest near Burkittsville, Maryland. Players assume the role of an ex-cop, Ellis, who's just joined the search in looking for a boy who went missing in the woods. The boy is declared to be part of a series of disappearances since 1994, when a group of students first went missing. Little did Ellis know that this investigation would soon become an endless nightmare and cause him to face his own fears along with the supernatural force that is the Blair Witch. This tile, set in first person, is a psychological horror survivor that brings the cult classic film to life. Blair Witch is one of Bluebird Team's works, the same studio that created Layers of Fear and Observer. This one's got a reputation that precedes it. This semi-open world title is probably the first horror game of its category that lets you play alongside a dog and pet it. Moreover, the developers managed to capture the Blair Witch Project's creepiness. While the game is slow-paced, it builds up to an excellent and compelling ending, and the quality of the gameplay only improves as you play. Observer 2017 The next psychological horror title is something straight out of a cyberpunk nightmare. Bluebird Team once again delivered something out of the box and unique with this one. The plot is centered around Daniel Lazarski, an observer, which in their 2084 society refers to a detective that possesses the ability to invade people's minds and get information out of them through a device called the Dream Eater. Within this premise, this fever dream of a cyberpunk nightmare takes you to quite a few places that leave a strong impression. Observer does an amazing job of blending its cyberpunk design and concepts with its psychological horror theme. Its hacking gameplay takes you into another person's brain, and you have no way of knowing what kind of terrors await you there. It manages to create an engaging atmosphere in its detailed environments with its colorful visuals. The jump scares, in combination with the puzzles and plot developments, make Observer an immersive experience, even though there isn't any fighting. The Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Medan, 2019. This title tells the story of an American bunch of five that discovers a shipwrecked battleship dating back to the time of World War II in the South Pacific Ocean. The horror theme that Supermassive picked to kick off the anthology was ghosts and similar supernatural elements in the same broad category. While Until Dawn told the tale of teens in an isolated lodge, this one follows a more mature group on holiday, when their diving adventure expands to exploring a mystery inspired by the urban legend of the SS Urang Medan. The week that it was released, Man of Medan made it to the top three of the UK's bestseller games, and though it wasn't as much of a monster as Until Dawn was, it still did pretty well for itself and got the horror fans excited for the episodes to come later in the anthology. The gameplay is similar to the other supermassive titles we've explored so far, but the story is relatively shorter and crisper. The quick time events that have you choose your character's next course of action are longer than their previous works, so players can put more thought into their choices. Butterfly Effect is still the core mechanic that shapes the plot. Aliens Fireteam Elite 2021 Designed on Unreal Engine 4, Aliens Fireteam Elite plays as a sequel to the original film trilogy, set 23 years from the events of the third film. The campaign isn't this one's strongest feature, and will have you play as a colonial marine aboard a spaceship responding to a distress signal. This fire team of marines that you're a part of learns that the station that transmitted the signal had been overthrown by the Xenomorphs, and this is where things kick off. There are four campaign chapters, each of which has three missions. It takes the form of a third-person shooter and is a bit more focused on the combat sequences than it is on survival horror elements. The voice acting is great, and the game highlights it by cutting back on dialogue animations. The result of this is a distinct atmospheric sound that cocoons you till you power the console down. There are some 20 types of enemies and 7 character classes, each of which you can upgrade individually and equip with perks. Don't sleep on the co-op fun this one has to offer. The matches will hold you witness to the difference in strength between the aliens and the marines. 
Dead by Daylight 2017. An asymmetrical multiplayer title has no business being as scary as Dead by Daylight. Horror fans might feel like they're getting bored of first-person survival horror games and their jump scares. For those who seek a newer experience, a different kind of thrilling fright, you need to take a look at Dead by Daylight. While a similar gameplay format is also seen in Evil Dead, Dead by Daylight is far simpler. Each match has four survivors hiding from one killer. The killer is stronger and has certain abilities and weapons that help level the playing field. The goal of the killer is to kill and sacrifice players to stop them from escaping. The survivors must escape through the exit gates. But these gates are powered by generators, five of which must be repaired in order to get the gates to open. Within these settings, there's a lot of fun to be had, and players can choose from 39 survivors and 33 killers, a lot of these being famous horror film icons like Ellen Ripley, Leon S. Kennedy, Ghostface, the Xenomorph, and more. In the five years since it was released, Dead by Daylight has been thoroughly refined. Today, it's an entire playbook with various playing styles or strategies, and its variety of characters with their perks, strengths, and weaknesses. Detention 2017 Detention, in all its 2D, side-scrolling, puzzle-solving, survival horror entirety, is a story that sticks with you for quite some time. This ghoulish Taiwanese point-and-click adventure starts off slow and has your play as a false protagonist, teaching you the game's mechanics in the prologue and subtly foreshadowing the game's story. A couple of minutes in, the character you're supposed to be and now you're controlling, Ray, wakes up in the auditorium to find the initial false protagonist dead. Ray's memories about the series of events are a little hazy, and when she wakes up to her newfound acquaintance dead, she's all alone, confused and lost in a school there's no escaping from. Within its first three days from release, Detention was ranked number six on Steam internationally. This game expands on its narrative beautifully and builds up to a grand orchestra-like finish where you're left with the whole picture and can't help but reflect on how well it's laid out for you. This one's a bit of a tragedy, and it's an impressive one at that. The dull color tones used in the design hold true to the tone of the story and undoubtedly contribute to making this one of our most unique picks in the list. Iwoni. 2021. Yet another underrated title, you only follows a different path than most. It does this by placing you to play the role of a 10-year-old girl, Ai, who feels isolated at school and can't bring herself to disagree with anything her friends say. Ai's life is at risk when a challenge involving a doll and a rumor of the supernatural nature come together to throw you into your own version of hell where the sun never sets. Being a child, you have no options but to run or hide from your fears. All the stages tell you a little bit about this kind of danger you're going to face during that stage. The game does a good job of giving you the creeps, with most of them being in the form of jump scares. The fun part is that this game will have you sneak around enemies with the goal of recovering a doll and getting back to the point you started at, but as the stages progress, the maps get trickier and you're left with only your memory to retrace your steps. You might die a good number of times, but checkpoints are available in abundance. Among the Sleep Enhanced Edition 2019 while we're talking about children in horror settings, we should really stop to take a look at Among the Sleep. This first-person explorer features an actual toddler as its protagonist. When little David receives a sentient teddy bear on his second birthday and is left unsupervised in his room by his loving mom, the bear and the child get acquainted. Together, the two play with toys, check out a storybook, explore the house and manage to find themselves in a cavern playhouse underneath the house. While this sends them on adventures, the pair must also crawl to safety when one of the three monsters is after them. The thing with placing a toddler as your main protagonist is the freedom that comes with the extremely creative and vivid imagination of a curious child. The story is a fun one and packs a mean twist. The storytelling mechanics are great and players are guaranteed to want more time in this child's world between dreams and reality. The fresh perspective that a toddler provides in this game's unique fashion is commendable. Tormented Souls 2021 Set in the third person, Tormented Souls combines traditional survival horror elements with fixed camera angles in various rooms and in-game environments. The protagonist, Caroline Walker, receives a letter about twin sisters being kept in Winter Lake Hospital and decides to investigate. Unfortunately for her, she loses consciousness on arriving here and wakes up naked in a bathtub with a tube in her mouth. The only person around is a creepy old man who's very ignorant in times of confrontation. The plot begins to thicken when you start exploring the mansion-turned-hospital. Caroline is depicted as a strong, bold, and curious character who readily takes on any adventure coming her way with her nail gun and more. The game's restrictive camera angles make it rather challenging and will have you scavenge your environments and experiment with them while solving puzzles. An important aspect of the gameplay is exploration. The mansion isn't that difficult to get lost in, and discovering its many corners takes up a hefty chunk of the gameplay. 
What's more is that this title has clear nods to the classic Resident Evil and Silent Hill games with their fixed cameras. Song of Horror 2019 This episodic survival horror opens with the disappearance of Sebastian Husher, who is a famous writer. Sebastian is missing along with Daniel, assistant to Sebastian's editor. When Daniel goes looking for Sebastian, he's taken. Greater forces are at play, and an evil entity called the Presence manifests. While there are 13 characters to choose from spread across the whole story, each chapter allows you to choose between three or four. Daniel, though said as the story's narrator, must be freed in the first chapter and doesn't get much screen time. Like most interactive dramas, Song of Horror 2 features a system where death is irreversible, unless you restart the game. When a character dies, all their loot can be found and taken by the next character. While Song of Horror is a fun survival horror experience, it could also be rather frustrating at times, given the fact that the slightest goof-up will result in a restart. There are also random points of interest depicted in the map with a question mark, and you have no way of knowing which of these interactions will be followed by an attack or chase, so choose wisely. Narcosis 2018 This next story will have you gasping for air as you try to escape from the deadly depths of the Pacific. This title heavily draws inspiration from Frictional Games' Mightiest. The story follows an underwater team of engineers after their methane mining facility below sea level is destroyed in an earthquake. Players play the role of a survivor from the team and move through submerged structures. They also face hazardous deep sea life forms and hallucinations as a result of their declining oxygen supply and sanity. With its short, close to three hour long gameplay, Narcosis is an intriguing original story despite its soma like underwater settings. The danger here is more natural and graver, expanding on the general phobias around drowning and aquatic life in the deep seas. The mechanics and slow maneuverability are justified by the technologically advanced diving suit with the handy thrust feature to evade danger. You spend time solving puzzles or running and hiding from monsters. The simple setting allows it to excel in terms of atmospheric horror. Perception Remastered 2017 Cassie Thornton is a blind woman and our protagonist who uses echolocation to perceive the world around her. Cassie's been having recurring dreams of a mansion called the Estate of Echo Bluff. After thousands of sketches and endless hours of research, she finds the estate. Riddled with curiosity over the house's significance to her, she walks in, and not long after that, her sharp ears start perceiving doors shutting after she walks through them, screaming in the distance and the sound of fire, among more. The game lets you tap your walking cane to momentarily scan your surroundings. The catch, however, is that frequently tapping your stick attracts the evil that is referred to as the Presence. The Presence is a passive ghost, not very aggressive in nature and lurks around the house. The game doesn't require it to be aggressive, because the horror lies in bumping into it due to your alternate mode of perception. Yet another unique thing about this one is that it lets you choose if you want a chatty protagonist that comments frequently during gameplay, or a silent night mode, where she only comments on observations essential to the plot. Absolove, End of Guts, 2021 This marriage between the sci-fi genre and elements of Norse mythology packs a world where humanity has gone underground. This new human sanctuary is overflowing with mythological artifacts and unfamiliar technology that will soon turn on the humans, pushing humanity to what is left of its last leg. The game is a sequel to Unforgiving, a northern hymn by the same studio, and players play the role of a woman named Alice. You explore this horrifying dystopian Viking world and uncover the secrets of an artifact that was built to experiment on the Nine Realms. In spite of being on the slower side as far as pacing goes, this game will pleasantly surprise you. The story packs a mean punch with its twists, and the level design is extremely well done. The narrative sticks to the story and doesn't have its players busy finishing filler side quests. You do find playable audio logs which reveal more about the story while not taking up too much of your time. This first-person survival horror makes you navigate through dark areas using a sight mechanic, fight bizarre creatures, and solve puzzles that help you advance to the next area. Alice's prosthetic arm is a very vital tool in combat and puzzles as well. All in all, a solid experience. Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater 2021 this entry in the Fatal Frame franchise takes you to Mount Hikami and three locations connected by its once holy water. Players can control three protagonists and explore the eerie areas on Mount Hikami in solving the mystery behind the mountain's association with a series of deaths. While the stories take a while to explain the characters' connections, you get to enjoy beautiful environments that do a great job of achieving what might just be the perfect atmosphere. The story plays with our three protagonists, Yuri, Ren, and Miu. All of them possess an antique camera, which allows them to peek into the realm of the dead and exorcise them. When the title made it to the PS4, it was well received by fans of the franchise, and this game became responsible for bringing in a lot more. The story is a terrifying one, and the maze-like environment designs are well done. 
both these elements deliver a sense of uneasiness. The shading elements and character design make for a far more immersive gameplay experience than the initial Wii U version. Dredge 2023. Our next title is an indie pick and a fishing sim at that. Designed on the Unity engine by Black Salt Games, Dredge will have you control a fishing boat and perform actions like fishing or sailing to make the clock tick. When it gets dark, however, the fisherman protagonist starts to sense trouble. Among the numerous strange encounters you have are ghost ships, sea monsters, eerie mist, and randomly appearing rocks. While you may think to avoid the waters at night, certain fish are only available to catch at night, which is why you stay out despite what your gut says. An interesting thing that makes Dredge, a seemingly innocent adventure fishing simulator, a horror title is its panic mechanic. As time passes after dark, a bar fills up, and the higher your panic levels, the creepier your perceptions of reality around you. Sound familiar? Hmm. Once you're back at the docks, you can sell your catch and upgrade various parts of the boat to make your nighttime encounters bearable. The game doesn't stop there. It also offers side quests, which often take the form of puzzles. While it isn't the most obvious entry, the designs and efforts are applaudable. Get Even 2017. Get Even is the story of Cole Black when he wakes up confused and disoriented in an asylum with near-zero memories in his head. The only memory he retains is that of attempting to save a girl with a bomb strapped against her chest. When he wakes up, a mysterious figure, Red, introduces himself and tells him about Pandora, a gimmick Black finds attached to his head. This device records and plays back his memories. The narrative goes on to reveal Black's past and the truth behind the bomb scare. The lines between reality and simulation get a little blurry with the game's psychological twists. This first-person shooter plays like a psychological thriller, and you spend time fighting, solving puzzles and making choices that attribute to your ending. The advanced smartphone that Black uses to scan his surroundings and the corner gun that let him shoot enemies while behind cover are two unique pieces of equipment that make the experience a cool one. The game emphasizes avoiding combat and fighting stealthily as it's said to destabilize your memory. Silt 2022 the next puzzle adventure is set in the third person and seen through the eyes of a lone deep-sea diver who sets out into the depths of the ocean to uncover and explore the harrowing mysteries that lay down under. Silt is made interesting by the protagonist's ability to possess underwater life forms and, in turn, use their inherent abilities to approach puzzles from a different angle. This one's a challenging one. The gameplay objectives can be tedious and hard to complete at times. Silt's inherent nature makes you think, and when you pair these thoughts with how beautiful the 2D black and white environments look, you're left with no complaints. And this memorable game sells extremely well, in spite of the simple animation and design. Martha is dead. 2022. When Julia finds a body in the lake while setting up her camera to take a photograph, she certainly didn't expect it to be her deaf twin sister, Martha's corpse. This strong opening encompasses a story that explores the themes of superstition and war tragedy while blurring the lines between reality and the two. Martha is dead is a psychological thriller set during the time of World War II in Romalia, a fictional town in German-occupied Italy. The story of the white lady is prominent in the plot as Julia's favorite bedtime story. The law describes a ghost story. A murdered lover killed by a jealous partner apparently haunts the lake where Martha was found. Martha is Dead is undoubtedly among the most impactful horror games. This comes naturally due to its emotional nature and the fact that it touches upon themes like child abuse, war tragedy, and a whole lot of mental health issues. What makes it special is how deeply the story engulfs you and how attached you become to its characters. On the gameplay front, this psychological thriller ghost story plays in the first person and has you explore the world to hear the story. Lone Survivor 2012. Starring a nameless protagonist, this crisp atmospheric storyteller plays out like a 2D side-scroller and is among most gamer survival horror favorites. In its post-apocalyptic zombie world setting, an infection has turned the population. In the beginning, our protagonist runs out of supplies and decides to leave the safety of his home so that he doesn't die alone. Even with its retro pixelated design, the game manages to mess around with the perception of reality. At points during gameplay, you're sure to find yourselves feeling confused. You're going to question if what lies ahead of you is actually happening or just a traumatized man's hallucination. The lighting, sound, and format of storytelling work hand-in-hand hand like a well-oiled machine, and it lets you choose different approaches to its stages. For instance, you might choose to use your environment to avoid a zombie and save ammo, or spend the ammo and shoot the thing. Lone Survivor has been a long-time favorite for a good number of community members. Dreadout 2 2022 A sequel to the Indonesian independent studio title Dreadout, Dreadout 2 is a refreshing stance on survival horror games set in the third-person perspective. This adventure game heavily incorporates Indonesian legends and folklore into its DNA. 
You play as Linda, a high schooler who can sense and see ghosts. Stepping on the toes of Fatal Frame with his camera obscura a bit, Linda can channel her abilities into objects like her smartphone and fight off a ghost by taking its picture. The prequel was a cult hit, and this sequel follows in its footsteps with a non-linear format and a better designed world. This one features an improved hybrid mechanic that combines the best of combat from the original Dreadout and expands on it. Aside from its horror elements, the game is applauded for the way it makes Indonesian culture a part of the narrative. The art style and atmosphere building is really well done in the game's distorted reality sequences. Marvelous verdict, and that concludes our list. Things are looking up for titles belonging to the survival horror genre. The newer engines are making games look creepily real, and for those of us that want to be positively tortured by the phenomenon that is horror gaming, we have a lot to enjoy and even more to look forward to. This has been Marvelous' selection of the top 50 horror games available on the PS4, and while some of these might not seem outright scary in a traditional make-you-jump kind of way, they will suck you into their world and really haunt you to your very core.